Hi, I'm Brian from TheEpicenter.com. I'm here today with uh, Todd Albee from Silverfire. Uh, Todd was the founder of Stove Tech, and you may know that name from uh, biomass uh, stoves. Uh, anyway, he's taken um, a lot of things that they learned over the years. He left the company and started his own company, Silver Fire, about six months ago. So today, I'm going to have Todd go ahead and uh, talk about the differences between his stove and the other guy's stove. And we're going to take our first look at the Silver Fire Survivor. Yes, Stove Tech was a great starting point in 2007, 2007 technology, but we've learned a lot in the last uh, several years. Our number one complaint with uh, Stove Tech, of course, was the weight to the stove and the durability. And you can see with a clay combustion chamber, it is subject to fracturing uh, easy and breaking down uh, during transportation and handling. Uh, we also had some issues with our cast iron top. You can see how thin it was in, in cracking. And also we had problems in the Pacific, Haiti, other locations due to the mild steel uh, painted um, stove with the paint burning off, oxidation causing the actual bottom of the stove to fall off. And that is why we went with a stainless steel uh, stove with the silver survivor. Uh, even the door is a new custom black stainless steel. It's a uh, charcoal color uh, and this is a really durable stove. We were able to shed 50% of the weight with the silver fire because we've replaced the clay uh, combustion chamber with ceramic fiber and, and perlite. So instead of weighing almost 28 pounds with a Stove Tech two-door two deluxe stove, uh, the Silver Fire Survivor weighs 12 and a half pounds. That's a significant uh, reduction in weight. The Silver Fire uh, Survivor um, also has a door. And this door retains more heat in the firebox in the combustion chamber resulting in cleaner emissions, a hotter fire, uh, because you're retaining more heat in the stove. Uh, so that's going to allow greater mixing uh, and a much hotter flame. You can also see at the base of the chimney uh, inside here at the back is secondary uh, air holes. This is the first rocket stove that has both primary air under the grate that we can see right here in the stove, mm -hmm. as well as secondary air uh, above the flame. And just like with pellet stoves that aren't certifiable to put in homes anymore is due to the fact that they are primary natural draft air under the stove and by adding secondary air we do clean up emissions. So the door, this is a radical new design with the door. The door is actually in the down position the entire time you are cooking, taking your fuel. And of course this represents uh, enough fuel to cook your dinner to bring a large pot of water to a boil for emergency drinking, sanitizing your cookware, or cooking a pot of noodles or what have you. So these, all these stoves were designed for very minimal amounts of twigs or simple yard scrub. And as you're feeding the fuel in, you can see with this rectangle combustion chamber that you do, do have equilateral fuel insertion, which is not possible with a round clay combustion chamber. So we have a larger chamber, we have a door to retain more heat, you can monitor the flames through uh, the slot in the stove. And you can also see that our cast iron uh, top is um, almost twice as thick as a stove tech stove. And we can see that this is all stainless steel construction. And we have removed in this shot the lightweight ceramic fiber insulation uh, to show you the internal high quality stainless steel construction. We've addressed uh, every issue we could think of uh, to give you the finest um, quality, most durable uh, rocket stove in the world uh, and the first that uses both primary and secondary air. 
Okay, that's it. The Silver Fire Survivor. For the Epicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian. And I'm Todd with Silverfire. Thank you very much. And we're signing out.